and welcome to class number 84 here at Virtual UPK. I'm so glad to see you today, but you know who I'm never glad to see. That's right, those germs. So, if you need to pause the video now and wash your hands, you may do so. All clean? Perfect. All right, friends. I hope that you are ready to practice your last name. So, you can grab any paper you'd like. If you have smiley paper or you want to make smiley paper, you can pause the video now and work on your last name with your grown-up. Wonderful work, friends. All right, let's head on over to calendar and find out what today is. We are still in the month of January. Let's say our month together nice and loud. Ready? January. Great job, friends. And let's sing our Days of the Week song so we can find out what today is. Are you ready? Nice and loud. Days of the Week. 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 Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Great job, friends. If yesterday was Monday, what does that make today? Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday. Great job. And if yesterday was the number 26, oh, I gave it away, friends. If yesterday was the number 25, what does that make today? 24, 25, 26. <laughs> Silly Miss Katie, a 2 and a 6. So we're going to put that right up here under Tuesday. And do, do, do. Got it to stay up there, friends. Let's say our date nice and loud together. Ready? Today is Tuesday, January 26, 2021. Friends, is today the same day at your house? Or are you watching this video on a different day? What is the date at your house? Great job. Well, we're all in the year 2021, so let's say that year nice and loud together. Ready? 2021. Great job. All right, if you need to pause the video now and finish the calendar with your grown-up, you may do so. If you're ready to go on, I will look out the window and what do I see peeking behind the clouds? Just a little bit of sun. It's just a little bit sunny here at UPK. I'm going to put that right under Tuesday for me. Friends, what is the weather at your house today? Is it warm outside or is it cold outside? Yes, even with the sun, it is still very chilly here. So if you go outside, make sure you bundle up. <laughs> All right, friends, let's go to the question of the day. Now, we have been talking about some different types of things coming up. We are moving a little bit away from talking about our homes and our neighborhoods, and we're going to start talking about what all living creatures need, not just us as humans. We're going to start to talk a little bit about animals as well. And so today, I want you to talk with your grown-up about what do all animals and living things need to live. So if you want to pause the video now and talk to your grown-up about it, you can do so. I'm sure you came up with a lot of great answers. 
Like all animals need food and they need shelter or a home and they definitely need water. We need a lot of water to drink and so do the animals and the plants that are living around us. So we're actually going to sing a song about water today for morning meeting. And it is called Five Little Water Drops. And I have five little water drops here, but you can use your fingers as we sing the song together. All right. So it's kind of like one of our finger plays, and it's a little bit of a rhyme or a poem. All right. So let me see your five water droplets. Okay. And I'm going to do it once, and then you can do it once with me. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. All right, and this is going to practice our counting, okay? We're going to start with five, and we're actually going to go backwards all the way till we get to zero. You think you're up for the challenge? I knew it. All right, ready? Here we go. Five little water drops on the shower floor. One slid down the drain. And then there were four, great job friends, four little water drops floating in the sea, one climbed on a whale, and then there were three. Three little water drops in a swimming pool, one swam away, and then there were two. One, two little water drops sitting in the sun. One became a cloud. And then there was, how many friends? One, great job. One little water drop raining from above. Drift on my nose. And then there were none. <laughs> great job, friends. Want to try it one more time? All right, I'm going to flip it over. There they are, on my clipboard. If you want, you can always color some raindrops and practice this at home too, if you've been using your flannel board at all, okay? So let's do it together, ready? Five drops up, here we go. Five little water drops on the shower floor. One slid down the drain and then there were job. Four little water drops floating in the sea. One climbed on a whale. And then there were, let me see those fingers, three. Three little water drops in a swimming pool. One swam away. And then there were two. Great job. Two little water drops sitting in the sun. One became a cloud. You remember that from when we talked about it snowing, right? It evaporates up into the air. And then there was one. One little water drop raining from above dripped on my nose. And then there were none. <laughs> Wonderful job, friends. All right, if you're ready to go on, it's everybody's favorite time. Stand up, take one step away from your computer, and we are going to stretch. I can stretch. I can bend. I can wave to a friend. Hi, friends. I can jump so high. I can crouch so low. I can tap the floor with my toe. I cross my arms and breathe in deep. I calm my body and have a seat. Nice job, friends. If you'd like to do the stretches again, you can go back and do them one more time. If you're ready to go on, you can head on over to the story, What Do Living Things Need? And I'll see you in just a moment. That was a 
short story, wasn't it, friends? But it gave us a lot of good facts to remember when we talk about all of our animal friends. And soon, when all the snow melts, we'll start to talk about all of our plant friends and all of the things that living things need. So, one of the things we are going to do today is we're going to make one of our small books. You guys have seen these before, so if you'll grab the papers that look like this, you'll need scissors, crayons, and these papers. So if you want to pause the video now and grab them, you may do so. All right, friends. Let's read our little book together, and then you can pause the video and finish making the book and coloring the book with your grown-up, okay? So this says, staying healthy, and you're going to put your name right here. It's important for us and for all living things to do all the things that keep them healthy. Like, what's one of our favorite things to do here? We wash our hands. And we keep the germs far away. I brush my teeth. Oh, that's something we're going to talk about later in the week. Or if you've already been to a Learn to Grow building, you know that is something we're going to talk about. I take a bath, or maybe you take a shower. I cover my mouth, right? You should always cough into your elbow if you need to cough, right? And how's another way we cover our mouths now, friends, that's much different than before? That's right, we wear masks. I get exercise. I eat healthy foods. Those are all important things. And when we do those things to stay healthy, I feel great. All right, friends. You want to pause the video now and finish your little book with your grown-up? You may do so. to go on friends we talked about a lot of things that animals and living things need and one of them is water so living things need water they need it to drink they need it to bathe and keep clean and keep the germs away so if you'll grab a paper that looks like this and your crayons you can pause the video now if you need to we are going to take this paper and it says water is all around us. So you can draw pictures of all the things that we use water for or all the places that we find water. So it could be that we use a water to wash ourselves, right? So you could draw a picture of uh, the bathtub. Um, and you're going to come up with all of the places that we might find water or that things we might use the water for. Like, we could use it to make uh, any of our food, right? We could boil water to make our pasta. So, you can pause the video now and finish that with your grown-up. All right, friends, we've reached the end of our day, but please remember you can always share this information with us. You can bring it back to Learn As You Grow if you come to a Learn As You Grow building, or you can always share it with us on Facebook. All right, friends, I'll see you soon. Bye.